Hennessy And like your boy from Compton said You know this dick ain't free I got girls that I should've made yeah. pay for Yo, what's going on everybody? Ghetto Penguin Gaming here And today, we are back on Mutthead With another promo review And today's promo is The Team of the Year program Always ran around this time of the year When the playoffs start, start heating up And getting towards the Super Bowl more um, probably definitely one of my favorite um, promos. They usually have the the biggest group of uh, players that are actually realistically good players to have on your team. Um, we're going to look at all those players. And we also got to look at the set here because it looks like you can put 40 of these. Um, hmm, what kind of collectibles? Team of, the, team of the Year collectibles. It looks like they're just called Team of the Year collectibles. You can get 40 of those. I'm guessing there's going to be new solos out for them. Um, and you can get a random team of the year offensive player, so that's kind of cool. But with um, I wouldn't any further ado. Let's look at let's look at the actual team of the year players. I want I just want to. That's the only thing I want to see right now is the team of the year players. Um, I've I've, I've already looked at a few of these, before, so these aren't going to be completely new to me. Um. But they are um, very cool to look at. There's actually some reasonable players that I think I might actually pick up because they're that good. Um, a few players I think that could have got a team of the year player. There's some that I don't know understand why um, got one. Um, starting off right away, um, uh, let's start from the bottom actually. We have this Tyreek Hill, um, obviously known for his speed. Look at this. This oops, Cal Ruff got out of here. 95 speed guys 90, 95 that's crazy 94 looseness 89 release which is pretty good too because he's got 95 speed now the problem with speed wide receivers is they usually have very poor release he's got an 89 release that speed release mixture with decent route running very solid one thing i don't like about him is he's got the ankle breaker chemistry which i'm not a fan of whatsoever um, going for around 84k, which isn't bad, speaking of how good his speed and his release is. Um, next, we got Kyle Rudolph, one of my favorites. I had his uh, here team, or his not team hero. Um, who was it? I think they're, they had a oh, captain. They had captain. They have the captain um, kind of promo that they did last year. Martin, his 90 overall, Kyle Rudolph was one of my favorites. Um, not looking too, not looking too shabby. 84 speed, 91 release, 91 catch. Um, just a big body kind of guy, so that's kind of cool to have. Um, new center from the um, Broncos, kind of interesting. Matt Pardius, Pardius. Um, not not terrible, but there are a lot better centers. I think that's why he's gonna be going for a hundred K. He's ninety three overall. Um, that doesn't surprise me. This fullback Kyle just Zuzik Zuzik. Bruising back and mo mobile blocker chemistries, which are actually very good, except that his stats are nothing crazy whatsoever. Matt St Max Strong, um, even that Don Terry pull out of position are a lot better, I think. That's why he's only going for 52K, and he just came out with the Team of the Year chem or program, so I'm not surprised he's going for that cheap. Richie Incognito, I'm not, I'm surprised he's only going for 117K, because I have his I think, Team of the Week card right now. I believe that's what it is. And he's, I got tier 2 zone blocking chemistry, and he just, he, he balls out. So, um, kind of interested to see if I can get this card. Maybe if I sell my other Richie Incognito and add, I don't know, some more uh, coins, a little bit more coins on top of it. I could upgrade to this uh, new Richie Incognito. Only problem being is that if there's a new Richie Incognito, obviously the team of the week one that I have will go down in value significantly. Um, almost instantly, so that's one problem. They have a new right tackle, Jack Conklin. These are uh, kind of hard to pronounce. Doing my best here. Um, got good all around. Looks like a good all around back. He's got mobile blocker, which I don't. Um, I don't know if that's a, that's not that's not a crazy good chemistry. He's got Tennessee too. Um, but I'm sure there's a few people that like that chemistry, so it's not terrible. I mean, having some speed on your line for uh, pulling, if you pull a lot. Um, Andrew Whitworth kind of cool. He's got the um, Edge Protector Tier 2. So I think you can get the Edge Protector... Or no, Edge Protector times 2. I think you can get Tier 2 of the Edge Protector now um, with just your left tackle and your right tackle because I do believe there's a right tackle with times 2 of the Edge Protector as well. Um, 
this card, he's very solid. One thing that he's, his only weakness is his impact block, and that's uh, very low, and maybe his speed. But otherwise, he's yeah, he's a very good card. Um, moving on to tight end, we got Greg Olson over here, who's actually got two um, two very good chemistries in my opinion, route running and slot expert time uh, tier times two. I keep saying tier two times two. Um, eighty seven speed, seventy six strength. He's gonna have crazy good uh, receiving stats. His only little weakness is his run block and his strength. So, um, I usually run a lot of two, sometimes even three tight end sets. So I make sure that at least one or two of them are good run blockers. Um, so that's not that wouldn't be a problem for me. Um, new Ty Hilton um, looked like a pretty good overall card. He's got slot expert and route running, which I like. Um, that's very good. I like his looseness. He kind of looks like a kind of like a Tavon Austin type. So that's kind of cool. Um, this Derek Carr now, this is, this is a very impressive car, I think. He's at 86 speed, but look at all his throwing stats. He's at 94 throw power, um, 93 short accuracy, 92 medium, 90 deep. Um, his only little weakness, I think, so far is maybe his, uh, play action, um, kind of iffy, um, but that's, yeah, that's about it. Marshall Yonda, now, Marshall Yonda is excellent, he's an excellent blocker all around, um, his only weaknesses have been in any of his cards that have came out for Marshall Yonder or his impact block. Um, you get tier 2 of the interior protector, though. I'm pretty sure you get plus 2 overall in his impact blocking category. So, um, N86 isn't bad either, so if you get that upgrade. Um, Jordy Nelson, obviously Packer fan, so I'm kind of excited about this. Not very, not kind I'm kind of curious why they gave Jordy Nelson a team of the year card because he didn't start doing really he didn't he didn't really come back from injury and like start playing at his uh full potential until um probably the last trimester so it's kind of interesting but he's got route running in Green Bay tier 2 which Green Bay is not a terrible chemistry um coming from a Green Bay fan I don't run it um I do have I have 92 Aaron Rodgers though and I got his team of the week card so um as soon as this card goes down a little bit in price I don't I don't want to spend that much money on this card um, I might pick him up just because I like Jordan Nelson. He's a good possession guy. But now, this card that I'm about to show you next, this Mike Evans, probably the cheesiest card that's going to be released from probably now until, I don't know, at least a couple. But he's going he's gonna to be the cheesiest player for the next couple weeks. Besides him having Chain Mover and Deep Threat, if you add Chain Mover and Deep Threat chemistry to this card, he's, he's going to be unstoppable. First of all, guys, he's 6'5". Height doesn't mean everything, but it does. It does play. Um, I I can't lie to you. It, it plays a difference um, in some situations. Not always. Um, I think that speed and release, speed and release, definitely outbeat height. Um, so don't be looking at height differences when you want to find a mismatch for your wide receiver on your cornerback. Look for that speed and release, and even route running as well. But he's got six five body frame, ninety one speed. He's got pretty much a tight end body. With wide receiver um, receiving stats. 95 jump though. 95 release. 93 catching traffic. 90 route running and 95 spec. You can't go wrong with that. He's he's crazy. Um, only little weakness is it looks like he's got poor uh, just regular catch. Um, but if you add deep threat tier 2. I'm pretty sure you get plus 2 in catch. So, um, Which I highly recommend you you commit to a chemistry. And you make it tier two. Um, I have zone blocking tier two. Um, I got a few. And I got coverage linebacker tier two. I love um, getting that to the second level because then it feels like you actually have a solid game plan. And you actually have a solid um, way to run your team. Now this is to surprise of nobody. Kind of surprised that um, Dak didn't get one instead of Zeke though because Zeke's already gotten uh, quite a bit of cards. But this doesn't surprise me either. Um, Great, great, great stats all around. Um, the only problem that I have with him is he's only got 82 truck, which I understand he's not a huge, big trucking kind of guy. He's a very athletic back. Ankle breaker chemistry I don't like, but the Dallas chemistry is not terrible either. If you add him with the uh, Cowboys offensive lineman, that's not bad. Great speed, great looseness, great acceleration. Now, this kind of annoys me. Sorry, Giants fans. Odell Beckham should not have a Team of the Year card. He's had one of his worst years um very overrated year, I think, in his uh, mind. But this card is not terrible. 93 speed, 96 spec. Obviously going to make a lot of uh, spectacular plays for you. But for that price, no. I'd get this Mike Evans for hundred, hundreds of thousands of dollars or coins cheaper. He's going to give you way better stats. And, um, yeah. Justin Tucker. Now, I'm actually going to get this uh, 
kicker, but I don't know what that CK is. That's not focus kicker, so I wonder what kind of kicker that, or what kind of uh, ability that is. I'm just kind of curious because I am getting this um, clutch kicker. Kicker cannot be iced with a timeout. That's very helpful, actually, because I hate that when you're about to kick a field goal and they call a timeout and you can't see their goddamn meter. That pisses me off. I will definitely like this card a lot, and I'm probably going to save up for him because kickers are very important. And he's got good, excellent kick power, and he's still got over 90 uh, kick accuracy. So, yeah, he's going to be good. And now, obviously, the star of this t um, team of the year is David Johnson. No surprise. Bruising back, tier two. Love the bruising back chemistry. Um... And he's got battle ready chem uh, battle ready ability, just like his 92. Wait, 92. I think it was 92 overall card, which I have used, and it was a very good card except for his looseness. But it looks like they b bumped up his looseness to 86, so it won't be much of a problem anymore. Otherwise, he's got good stats all around. Crazy good player. Um, not not how much to say. He's he's gonna be. I mean, I think he's well deserving of this card. Um and. I would definitely wait for this price to go at least under 900k before I would even think about picking him up if I were you. But, um, oops, I didn't want to go to Team Builder. Um, that's going to pretty much wrap it up, guys. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Otherwise, peace.